spotted where the recordings were. I had a look for them, I've not seen them. I will double check with Mrs. Butterworth about that because I think she might be sending those out when they're all done. Okay. So this is the final session, so hopefully they'll all be sent out after this session. Okay. Uh, but I'll double check. Okay, lovely. So we are recording now, so we shall make a start. Now, Harry Potter has a wand, and there's one shop that you've got to go to get your wand in Diagon Alley, and that's Ollivander's. It's the only place you can go. And in the book, J.K. Rowling wrote, every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful magic substance, Mr. Potter. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heartstrings of dragons. Try this one, beechwood and dragon heartstring. Nine inches, nice and flexible. Just take it and give it a wave. So we're going to be creating our own little piece of creative writing, just like J.K. Rowling did here, explaining what our magical wand is like. So we have got lots of things that we need to think about. We need to give it a really good name that gives, makes it sound magical and wonderful. We need to decide what wood it's made of. Think about trees around your houses. What kinds of uh, wood are they made out of? What does that have in its middle? So does it have a dragon's heart string, a phoenix feather, maybe something else just as magical? Is it gonna be a big, long wand? Or is it gonna be a short little wand that you can just whip out and create a magical spell around? Um, are there any particular spells that it's really good for? Some ones are really good at making potions. Other ones are really good at destroying your enemies. Which one are you going to go for? And are there any other special design features? We can have a look at some uh, different ones here. We've got Voldemort's wand, Ooh, our villain of Harry Potter. And his looks quite villainous, actually. It's got quite a big handle there so that his horrible fingers can grip it and cast horrible magical spells. We've got Harry's wand, and he's got a nice handle there, quite a standard wand. Uh, Hermione's got a little thumb grip, as does wands as well. So there's some examples of some ones there for you. So I think that we've got time now to think about what kind of ones we want to make. So if you get your sheet up, your planning sheet, and we're gonna watch a little video, and we're gonna watch a little video of what, what happened when Harry Potter got his wand. And while you're watching that, I'd like you to have a think about what kind of wand you would like to make and do some planning in here. So you might want to do a little mind map or just get lots of ideas down on the page. And I'm going to share our ideas before we create our ones. Does that sound all right, everyone? Happy? Great. So we're going to watch a short video now. We'll see what it was like when Harry got his wand. And we can think about what your wand is going to be like. I still need a wand. A wand? Well, you want all of Anders. There ain't no place better. What are you running around there and wait? I just got one more thing I got to do. What do you want? Hello? 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 I wonder when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. Seems only yesterday that your mother and father were in here buying the first one. Give it to me. Give 
apparently not. Perhaps this. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is curious that you should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. And who owned that wand? Do not speak his name. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Father. It's not it's always clear why. why. But I think, I think it is clear that we can expect great things from him. After all, he must not be named. Terrible! Wow, there we go. So that was Harry Potter getting his first wand, and it took him a few days to get one right because he was a little bit clumsy with the others, but he found one just right. And we have just been joined by another school. So can you give us a wave? Welcome to our second school. Lovely. So who have we got here? Brilliant. Well, welcome. Today we are going to be creating our own magical wand. And you came at a really good time because you were able to see Harry Potter getting his wand. And we're going to be thinking about what we could make for our wands now. And we should have open here on session five. We've got a big lot here for some planning. So what I think we can do is shall we spend about a minute planning what we're going to write, um, what we're going to create in our wand, and then I'd love to hear some of your ideas. Okay, so we'll have a minute of planning about all the different things that you would want in your wand. We need a really fancy name. We need what kind of wood it could be made from and what it might have as its core. Harry Potter's wand had a a phoenix tail as, as its core, something very, very special. So I'll give you a minute now, talk amongst yourself so you can get some ideas down on your planning and we'll share some ideas. Oh. Thank you. 
Right then, ladies and gentlemen, shall we share some ideas that we've got? Now, I've got quite a few ideas here already. Now, I had some magical names that I thought of for my wand, and I thought of Abracadabra, brilliant magical name, uh, Wish Woosh, Brave Tail, Wonder Wand, some wonderful and magical things. So, um, Lady Jane Grey, have we got some ideas here that you that we could add to our planning sheet about some names? Uh, Summer? Um, Hippogriff Heart. Hey, Hippogriff Heart. Did you hear that? Hippogriff Heart. Someone knows that, Harry Potter. Fantastic. Hippogriff is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic beast, isn't it? Hippogriff Heart. I like that word. Uh, how about over at our other school? What have we got? Any ideas for a name? Uh, Sophie? Uh, Slytherin. Ooh, that's going to be a nasty. Um, Slytherin, fantastic name for a wand. I'm sure that wand is going to be good at defeating their enemies, aren't they? Ooh, do you know what? I quite like Hippogriff Hearts. I think I'm going to call my one that. I'm going to highlight that one so that I remember. Now, I've got some woods here that my uh, wand could be made out of. I've got oak, cedar, and birch. Um, over at Lady Jane Grey, have we got any, any other ideas about what wood it could be made from? Eddie? Big and loud, Eddie. Willow. Brilliant. A weeping willow giving over its wood. That's fantastic. It could be made of willow. And over at our other school, what have we got? Any other ideas for woods? Somebody got a wood? Hey, mate. Sycamore. Fantastic word. That's a hard one to spell as well, isn't it, sycamore? Because it's got a, a Y in it. Sycamore. Fantastic. I think I've got like a sycamore, a sycamore wood there as well. Fantastic. Um, for my core, I've been thinking about a unicorn hair or a dragon scale. Is there anything else that we've got that could be really really interesting to make really makes our wand turns our wood magical doesn't it so lady jane gray any ideas for what we could have in the center of our wand a oh i didn't quite hear that one a meerkat claw <laughs> a meerkat claw oh my word that is quite special yeah we could have a meerkat claw <coughs> and how about over at our other school what have we got there um, <laughs> A phoenix feather. A witch feather, sorry. Phoenix. A phoenix feather. Well, of course, a fiery phoenix feather. And again, phoenix is quite a tricky one to spell, isn't it? Because it's got an O and an E in it. Do you know what? I've got like a meerkat claw. I think that's quite ingenious, that one. Meerkat claw. Um, oh, what about spells? What spells do we think our wand might be good at? We think maybe the Slytherin uh, wand might be really good at defeating our enemies. Um, I've got some ideas about potions. What other spells could our magical wand be really, really good for? Um, shall we go with Lady Jane Grey first of all? Love spells. Love spells. Lovely. You've got to have a love spell. Absolutely. And how about our other school? Any ideas for a special spell that I want to be really good at? Enchantment. An enchantment spell. Excellent. I like that. Enchantments. Brilliant. What fantastic ideas. Hopefully you have got some ideas down for what your wand might look like here. And if you've not, then I've got lots and lots of ideas on here that you can think about. So we're going to have, it's going to be called Hippogriff Heart, my one. Made a sycamore. It's going to have a meerkat claw right in the middle to make it magical. Um, oh, it's going to be, I quite like enchantment. That's a lovely word as well, enchantment. It's going to be really good at that. Um, and I might have a bit of a thumb grip as well to hold it onto. Brilliant. So we've done our planning. Now let's do our wand creation. So if you turn your page over, We've got all those wonderful things that we've decided on. So you can draw a lovely image of your wand here and you can put here um, all the things that you've decided that your wand should be. So product name, my one's name is Hippogriff Heart. Fantastic. So hopefully you've got some really fun names 
for that. Um, tell you what, let's give ourselves about eight minutes, because I think that's all we've got. We've not got much longer left, but we've got about eight minutes or so. Um, and I think now we can start drawing our wand and deciding what it's been made out of. So I'm going to stick some really fun Harry Potter sympathy music on again. Hopefully you've got a pen or a pencil to hand and you can start creating the one now. I'm trying to make my wand look quite like it's made out of wood. So I'm putting knots that you might see sometimes on wooden tables. I'm trying to put those in my wand. Maybe yours can be lots of different colours. I don't have many colours available at the minute. Hopefully you've got some colours. It could be all multi, it could be multicoloured, couldn't it? It could be rainbow. Yeah, that sounds good.
I'm just looking through my letter now, making sure that I've got my capital letters, my full stops. Well, I think that was the perfect time to pause the music there. <laughs> Lovely. So shall we finish off that sentence or that little part of the one that you've got for the moment? Because I would love to see what people have got and see if anyone uh, would like to share any of uh, what they've got so far um, or if they finished. That would be amazing as well. Um, so have we got anybody from either school who would like to share their ideas or tell us what their wand is all about? So, should we start with Lady Jane Grey? Is anybody at Lady Jane Grey? Is anyone at that point where they don't mind sharing what they've got? Hey, Bruce, um, do you want to come up a little bit closer? It's a bit louder for the microphone. Thanks, Bruce. Um, I've got a Okay, so do you just want him to read his full description? Yeah, that'd be wonderful, and then we can hear hear what we've got so far. Um, my one's name is Raven Enchantment. Uh, it's made out of a uh, monkey puzzle brain. Oh. That four is um, a griffin's feather. Um, it's seven inches. Uh, it spells enchanting people and animals. The uh, special design has a phoenix feather on the bottom of the one. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, but I haven't been slipping yet. Okay, right, round of applause for Oh, well, brilliant, well done! <laughs> that was really great. Thank you so much for that. I love that the idea that's got the phoenix feather, that's kind of floating off as a bit of an accessory that's fantastic and how about our school anybody that we've got who'd like to share oh Pam straight up there bring it here <laughs> 
name is Slytherin Snake. The wood type has been made out of sycamore wood. Um, I have used the core of unicorn wood. The length of the wand is eight inches. Its spells are particularly good for hate spells and punishment spells. Its special design features a unicorn wand, phoenix flame, dragon scale, and a snake pattern. By today, don't let X Vector trone them. Excellent. That was brilliant. What a lovely slogan there at the end. What a. Right. Well, I th thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've had a little bit of fun being a bit creative there to create your own magical ones. Um, if you're, I don't know if your teachers are going to uh, maybe let you finish if you haven't already, um, or you can perfect your uh, wand creations. Um, but what we would love you to do is, once you've got your completed session booklet, bring that into Brickfell Groovy when you start and hand it into your English teacher. It may be me, it may be somebody else that you've seen this week. Um, and we will have a look through it and um, see what wonderful, wonderful work you've been doing. Um, so that really concludes all of our English sessions really at the moment. Uh, so thank you very much for joining. Um, and tell you what, if anyone's got any questions about English at Brookfell Groovy, maybe I could answer a question if anybody's got one. So anyone, shall we go, uh, Lady Jane Gray first of all. Is there anyone from there? Any questions? Um, would you like 3D sculpture? Oh, that's the art. Yeah. So um, it's an art question about whether they're doing sculptures. Oh, that's a really interesting one. In art, you do a whole manner of different things. I think they've been doing some paper sculptures in graphic design, actually, this year, in year seven. I'm not sure about clay. You might be able to do that when you get a little bit further in school. But certainly, that'll be the opportunity to be very creative in your art and design and graphic design lessons. Um, in English, we do lots of project work as well. So, in fact, we do do um, a, a unit of work. Uh, right near the beginning of term where you create a project over one of the stories that you've been introduced to and one of the my students did bring in some clay and they created a character out of clay so yeah absolutely creativity is definitely part of the curriculum here um right any questions from our other school um we've had one asking what kind of novel we should be reading Ooh, lots of different things. So um, at the beginning of term, we start looking at Harry Potter. So we'll continue some of your work. And then we're looking at lots of extracts from books. So they're just little parts of books um, that we'll look at. Um, and then later on in the year, um, some of the year sevens will um, look at wonder. Um, other year sevens might look at the book thief. And there's also some other books as well that we might be looking at, like Mortal Engines, um, and um, they're the kind of novels that we're looking at at the moment. But we have the most fantastic library as well. So we do lots of library sessions where we go and have a look for books and we get recommended as well. So keep your eye out for lots of different novels that we're going to be looking at. Great, lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining everybody. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Have an excellent summer. And yeah, that concludes our session. So thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.